Time is running out. A consensus is forming that next week represents the last chance for MPs to act to stop a no-deal Brexit. Boris Johnson has piled vast pressure on MPs with his prorogation of Parliament from as early as Monday the 9th of September, drastically curtailing the time available for them to prevent the UK automatically leaving the European Union on the 31st of October. Hi, good morning, hello, good morning, good morning. The Prime Minister's comments today after a press conference with school children suggest he's well aware of the importance of the next seven days. The weird thing is that the more the uh, parliamentarians try to block the no deal break, the more likely it is that we'll end up in that situation. So how could the coming week play out? out? Rebel Tories and opposition MPs have essentially two options. One, change the law to remove the 31st of October cliff edge. Two, attempt to bring down the government through a vote of no confidence. Both options have serious potential obstacles to success and both could face countermeasures from Downing Street. First, change the law. MPs are likely to apply for an emergency debate on Tuesday under Standing Order 24 to take control of Commons business. This could allow them to alter legislation to compel the Prime Minister to ask for an Article 50 extension or amend the Withdrawal Act to make a no-deal exit unlawful. But there are risks. The biggest obstacles for them are obviously winning votes, and not just one vote, but a series of votes. First of all, they've got to get approval for this change to the order paper. They've then got to get through a business motion that decides how they'll go about bringing in this bill. It involves this alliance to stick together through it and to have a complete agreement about what is the best way forward. In terms of the Commons, they need to get this passed on either Wednesday or Thursday uh, for it to then go off to the Lords. The Lords can sit for longer but also peers there, conservative peers, will have more opportunities to try and delay, so it could take a lot longer. Once Parliament is prorogued, that bill falls, and if it's not completed by then, they'd have to come back in October with an even shorter time frame and try and do the whole thing again from scratch. Second, vote of no confidence. If MPs can't change the law to prevent no deal, they could attempt to change the government but there are big risks for this route too, particularly if MPs can't agree on a temporary caretaker administration to take over. A successful vote of no confidence in the absence of this could leave power in Boris Johnson's hands to force a no deal by default. It is theoretically possible if he does not leave, an alternative government is not there and he remains as Prime Minister, he sets the date for the election. There's a good chance that if that doesn't happen this week, then because the government control when an election is set, that it might not be set before the 31st of October. Yet could we see Parliament extend the time available to itself to combat a no deal? They have an opportunity to legislate. There could be lots of things that are put in it, one of which might be changing their sitting hours, that so they're sitting on Fridays, they're sitting over the weekend. The other of them might be changes to prorogation. That could be as much as trying to change the whole terms of prorogation, possibly even trying to get uh, the prorogation completely removed. That might be a step too far. More likely is that they'll try and find some way to force the government to come back sooner. So MPs could, theoretically, create more time for themselves next week. But if they're going to carve out this leeway, they still need to act fast and with unprecedented unity over the next seven days.